Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a try a chapter audiobook version with some book of the month books that have been sitting on my shelf. Um, I've already done the listening part of this vlog, so this is just my intro. Um, I'm a little congested. I got sick, it seems like overnight unfortunately. So I'm a little stuffy. But the three books that I have chosen for this vlog are The Starcross Sisters of Tuscany by Lori Nelson Spielman. I think this is kind of considered like, I don't know, speculative fiction. There's like a curse involved and Sisters can't fall in love because of a curse, blah, blah, blah. So that's that one. Then A Nearly Normal Family by M.T. Evertson. This is like a thriller um, with a girl who I think she kills somebody. And there's a court situation. And then The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes. So this is a little bit thicker than the other two by Elisa R. Sloan. And this is a just general fiction about a girl group and Cassidy unraveling. You do find out she dies early on in the book, so that is not a spoiler. Um, and all of these have been sitting on my shelf for a while. Um, this one I traded in a Facebook group. These other two I got, I think, for a dollar, um, at a book sale. And I just am trying to thin out the shelves because if I'm not interested in it, why keep it? So, I can tell you in advance that one of three of these books was a hit and the other two are going to be unhauled. So let's see where this goes. So I'm going to Duncan and I'm going to start my first try chapter with the unraveling of Cassidy Holmes. And as far as I'm aware, it sounded very similar to Daisy Jones and the Six, where you have this uh, rock star and they have eventually their downfall. Um, I know Daisy Jones and the Six is very popular and this book came out I believe shortly afterwards. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Okay I'm not even into the story yet but right off the bat there is a full cast like Daisy Jones. Uh, there is a author's note that talks about trigger warning for like suicide, depression, that kind of thing. So, getting Daisy Jones in the six like knock off right away. Okay, so I just finished. It actually was the prologue, which was super long, because I'm not gonna sit there do the prologue and then the first chapter that defeats the point of this whole thing. Um, already the story. Okay, so the story starts present or whatever the present time is in that book. There's a girls group and they're doing like a interview on the radio and one of their members, they find out while they're doing the interview that she passed away. I don't think that they're currently together. I think that they broke up, but sometimes they do stuff together. So they get like a, an news flash that the one member was found dead. So that's the one timeline and we're getting the different points of view from the other three members of the group and the group's name is Gloss. I want to say it's probably a pop group just based off the name. So then the other timeline that we are getting is from Cassidy who is the one that is passed and the title character. Um, she is auditioning and she's on in like the top three for 
a singing competition that is very similar to America's Got Talent or American Idol. And so I'm assuming that that timeline is going to give us like the the building up of her singing career and then eventually the group being formed. So, so far my opinion, I am enjoying it. I feel like this is kind of what I wanted from Daisy Jones, except Daisy Jones was in like an interview format, which was not what I was expecting. I kind of wanted something more like this. And now their music was more like a rock group and this is more like a pop thing, which isn't really that big of a deal, but so far I'm enjoying it. It is kind of a hefty book, so I'm curious where it's going to go, but I will be keeping this because I want to finish it and see what happens. So I'm on to the next audio book, Try Chapter. Um, this one is A Nearly Normal Family. I believe it's a thriller. I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll find out. So I finished my chapter for a nearly normal family, nearly perfect family. It's kind of like a legal thriller building up to be like an opening scene as this mother and father are in the courtroom and their daughter gets brought in. I think she killed somebody, but they don't really get into that. And then the first chapter goes into like the night before this all happened. I think I'll be unhauling it. So I just left the library with a big ass pile of books, mostly for my daughter. Um, I am on to the last, try a, an hour, well not an hour, uh, try a chapter audiobook. And the last one I'm doing is the Starcross Sisters of Tuscany. Um, I think I forgot to mention that I own all of these in physical form, but this will help me to determine which ones are worth keeping and which ones I can unhaul. So, the Stars Cross Sisters of Tuscany, I think, is about, obviously, sisters who have a curse on them that they will never find love or something of that nature. So, we'll see how this goes. I finished uh, the first chapter of the Sisters of, oh, Starcross Sisters of Tuscany. And it gave me vibes of practical magic because in both stories, the sisters do not have luck and love and it's due to a curse. Um, I tried to read practical magic more than once. Couldn't do it. I don't think this is going to hit the mark either, so it's another unhaul. Hello, this is the end of this vlog. Um, this is my second attempt at recording this. So I did end up continuing on with Cassidy Holmes, and I ended up doing nothing that as well. There just wasn't much happening. Like, there was, at some point, some interest, however... It just got repetitive and not much was developing. So I DNF'd it at about 40%. I say that this vlog was a kind of a success because I now have three books off my shelves and I made room for more. Also, you might hear the air conditioner. It's about 80 degrees and I live in New York, so we're not used to this heat. Um, have you heard of any of these? Because I don't really hear anybody talking about any of them. I think maybe when a nearly normal family came out, people were talking about it, but, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!